Brother, are you are you Muslim? And I was born Muslim, but then um, like I tried to, I wasn't interested actually in learning about Islam, you know. Um, and now when I again start looking in Islam, so um, um, I think it makes sense and it's logic. But I still have some question that I I would like to be answered, you know. Um, and last week I asked one, but we didn't have uh, the time to discuss it. Um, it would be great if I can ask. I have actually two questions. So Okay, why don't you ask your first one and let's see if we can get through them. Okay, the first one was like um, la last week. So I said like, um, since we know like God does not benefit from our worshiping, and do good works or bad works and um, from our perspective there's no point that god created us and like it, it it would be more merciful if god does not did not create created us because without creation and uh, nobody's going to be put in hellfire you know and um, i will understand this if god benefit from uh, our being you know Okay, Brother so, Ayub, can I just ask you a quick question before yeah. Brother Ijaz comes in there? Who, who is the best judge of what is good and not good? You or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? If God exists, of course, Allah. Right. So that, that, so that means that if God exists and he has created the world as, it, as we see it, the universe as we see it, we can establish that there must be some wisdom behind that, yes? Yes, of course. So that in itself cannot now be the criteria to judge whether God exists or doesn't exist. Do you agree? Um, yes, but that would be like um, God is not merciful or not the... No, no, the but are you, I asked you the question because you said it, it would make more sense, yes? It would be better to do such a such thing, right? And what I've established to you is that there are rational ways of arriving to a conclusion that God exists. Yeah, I agree. But there, there are rational processes to that you can utilize that would ensure that you would confirm that this book, the Quran, is indeed from the creator. You can actually use reason, logic and investigation to come to that conclusion. Right. Yeah, yeah, I agree, but... Uh, okay, now hold on a second. Okay. So once you've come to that conclusion, then whatever it says has to be correct, even if you don't understand it or I don't understand it. Because Allah says Allah is all wise. Okay? Now, if I now say, but why does God need angels? Because God could just do it by himself. Because he's all powerful. It doesn't make sense to me. Why? Why angels? But you don't have to understand that. It doesn't have to necessarily sit with your heart in terms of whether that makes sense to you or not. The important thing about what makes sense is does God exist? And is this book that is claimed to be from God, is it indeed from God? And it claims to be preserved. Is it preserved? And if you tick these three boxes, then Alhamdulillah, whatever it tells you is correct. Now, if I don't understand something, if I can't fully comprehend something, or if something doesn't quite make sense to me, because I think I, with my limited intelligence, could have done things better, then I need to think about that if those things were already verified and that this was indeed from Allah, from God, then clearly I must be in error of judging whatever I'm judging. I think Are you ready to accept Islam then? Yeah. And come back to the brotherhood, sisterhood, family? Yeah, I, I, I think so. I, so. Let's do it then. Bismillah. Yeah, let's do your shahada. Go on, bro. You know how to say it. Ashhadu anna la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan rasulullah. MashaAllah. Welcome back to Islam. Welcome back, bro. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Amran, for you. Uh, I really enjoy watching your argument and all of you, brothers. Um, you, you really are 
doing very good work and um, hopefully we are going to support your work all of us because we have um, to make this message spread around the world but thank you really Inshallah. But brother keep in touch with us uh, you have our email address if you yeah, have questions um, or thoughts that come up there's lots um, just email us mm -hmm.